Hi guys, it's so lovely to see you. Welcome back all our regular watchers and um, welcome to anyone who's new. Um, I'm Gail and I'm very happy to be here. Here, there's our picture from last week. So we're going to be um, drawing and doing some dancing and some shout outs. So if you've been before, you know the drill. So you can get right in the chat straight away and put your shout outs in while I show the newbies around. Okay, newbies. So we are going to be doing lots of fun things. We're going to be drawing. I'm going to be showing you how to draw a portrait of these two very special soft toys. This is Teddy and Bunny. There they are. And um, I'm going to be sketching and putting ink on and using colours and I'll talk you through the process. And then at the end, I will finish it live. So this is a recording and we can dip in. And um, you can, oh, thank you so much. I'm very happy you like my hair. You love chocolate. Do you love my hair as much as chocolate? Okay, right, I'll get on, I'll stop wibbling. So we have our Artist of the Week feature. So look at this, here we have, Hello everyone, <laughs> so this is the Artist of the Week room and remember if you've not been before or if, you're, if you've forgotten then you can comment down in the chat just over here if you would like a shout out request or if you would like any request for anything just comment it and I'll try my best to help. So that's Leon and Leon's in the chat and the other key people who you might need to know about are Soggy Rabbit and his friend Bestie. Now at the moment they're in their writing room. Here they are. Soggy Rabbit is having a bit of a lie down and Bestie is waiting for their chance to do their shout out. So Bestie is only allowed to do one shout out because they are very, very excitable and Soggy does the rest. So when we do a shout out, one of the pieces of paper has got a heart on it and that's the one that Bessie is going to do. Okay, so look out for that. Right, so questions and chat in the chat. Make yourself at home and if you've got a cup of coffee or tea or a nice drink, then um, just, we're, we're very happy for you to relax and enjoy. So, um, okay. I will start by just talking through the basic um, sketching process and this is really useful whatever you're drawing. If you want to do anything, a portrait of a dog or a person or a house, anything that you want to look like the thing. And oh, I might just turn that music down because I've got the music up really loud, sorry. Is that better? I hope that's okay. Oh, you like the blue earrings too. Hi, Natalie. Lovely to see you. And I wonder if Joe and Amelie are watching. Hi. So nice to see you again. So um, here we are sketching and you can see I just drew a little line down the middle of Bunny's face there. Did you catch that? And that's just helping look at the structure and make sure I've got the middle all lined up. And that's really good if you're drawing anything with a face. And I'm looking at the big shapes. So there goes Teddy's muzzle. Might give you a quick look at the reference photos. So when you're drawing something for somebody else, they often give you photos and often they give you more than one. And this was the case where I had a lovely selection to choose from. So here are two of my favorite photos from the selection of Teddy and Bunny. Now you can see the one on the left, they're looking quite smart and upright. And the nice thing about this one is I can see their hands and I can see they're very looking very straight and decorative. And then the one on the right, well, what do you think? I wonder what you think about that because personally, I really like it when toys or people or animals or anything look relaxed in their pictures and they look like themselves. So I chose to use this picture here and I just pop onto the other reference photo to check for um, Bunny's paw because I thought it would be nice to have Bunny's paw. So when you're doing um, drawing like this, it's really good to look at the big shapes and get those right first. So you look at how things line up 
and I'm being really quite careful using a very soft pencil. So regular viewers will know I'm a very big fan of these pencils and I've got all sorts of different hardnesses or softnesses. So this, um, so I've got a harder one for signing pictures, but the nice thing about soft ones is they're very easy to rub out. So I will show you in a minute my favorite tool. There it is, the putty rubber. So I'm just using that to make some small corrections and I'm trying to get the shapes as good as I can straight away and um, before I go in with the ink. Um, so it's really a, a nice way to work doing that. So um, we'll look, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see, but Bunny has got some writing on the foot. So um, there's a really nice feature to do. I really like things like that and I always try and get them in the pictures. So if your subject has got a special tail or some writing or anything that makes them specially themselves, it's really nice to try and include it. Right, I'm going to go into the chat and ask Leon how it's getting on and whether we've got any shout outs. Are you ready, Leon? So we've already got lots of shout outs. So thank you, everyone. And I've had word that Kez sadly can't join, but and has very kindly requested a shout out. Okay, cool, lovely. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's um, let's head over, see what's going on in this writing room. Right then, Soggy Rabbit, you're going to have to stop lying around and do some work now. Are you ready? Oh, you are. You're full of beans. Okay. So. While that sketch is coming on, you can do your sh first shout out, which is for Auntie Jilly. And what did you want to say? You want to say, oh, kisses to Auntie Jilly and happy 60th birthday. How wonderful. Right, on April the 1st, no less. Okay, Soggy, are you ready? You are. Okay, lovely. Auntie Jilly. Wait, here we go. Ready? Are you going to look? You're not. You're going to do it without looking, okay? Right. A beautiful pink pen today. Auntie. Very nice. Jilly. Here we go. Oh, I don't think you've done a G on the show before, have you? No, okay. Right, ready? Let's do a bit of a twirl. Lovely, and a heart for Auntie Jilly. And do you think we should do a 60? Yes, you do. Okay, there we go. Right, now then, does Auntie Jilly like dancing? Soggy Rabbit would like to know. Let's put the lid on. And I suspect that if Auntie Jilly is in Sansie's family, Auntie Jilly does like dancing and would like to come into the dancing room with us all. Okay then guys, get your dancing shoes on or your other shoes off and let's go and do a dance with Auntie Jilly. Soggy Rabbit. Gosh, you must be tired after that. Okay, lovely. Right, we'll say happy birthday again to Auntie Jilly. Thank you to Sandy and Ange for that shout out request. Get the rest of them in the chat and we'll see how this drawing's coming on. Okay. So you can see I'm still spending time and this is really useful when you're an artist to spend your time at the beginning getting the shapes in the right place. So this is the longest part of the drawing. It's quite slow and I'm just being very careful, going over the lines. And there are some other tricks you can use, like one thing you can do is you can get a mirror and hold the mirror up and look at your picture in the mirror. And that way you can see it with fresh eyes. And then if 
for example, um, one of the eyes is slightly off or um, something's not quite right with the proportions, it'll be like you've seen it for the first time and you'll be able to spot things that are off kilter that you maybe wouldn't have noticed um, when you've been staring at it because when you're an artist you quite often like to look at something for a long time and you go into that lovely lovely feeling of really concentrating and focusing so now there's one more thing that I haven't mentioned um, before we go on and do our next shout out which is our theme of the week so our theme of the week today is happy to help and what this is about and we're not going to be spending lots of time on this but I want you to think about the difference between helping someone because you have to help them and helping them because you're happy to help so I'd love to know and we'll we'll have a moment to read out some of your ideas from the chat so I'd love you to put in the chat what you think makes you happy to help so what what is it about helping that can make you happy? Or what's some helping that you've done that's made you happy? So I'll tell you some helping I've done. Well, some helping I've had. I've had some really lovely help from Leon. And Leon doesn't just do some of this front end stuff. He's very good at asking about the show and listening to me talk about ideas of things I can do to entertain you. And so Leon is happy. I feel he's happy to help. So I'm happy to ask him. So that's what we're thinking about today, being happy to help. Okay, right. So let's. Oh, thank you. I'm really happy, Donna, that you like the theme. Um, yeah, and another. Oh, a shout out for Rosa and Molly. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Keep them coming. Okay, so um, let's have a look at how that drawing's coming on. I think the drawing itself is really nearly finished. So I'm just making sure that we've got everything in the right place. And you can see the mount card there so when the picture is framed it has a, a what's called a mount around it you can see those pictures behind me have got them on and it's really nice when you're drawing a picture to keep in your mind how it's going to fit on the page and if it's going to be framed how it's going to sit in the frame so I've got that there just to make sure I leave enough space at the sides so it's got what we call breathing space. So I'm not doing my drawing right up to the edge. I'm just leaving a little bit of air all the way around. And um, I'm also, yeah, so I'm just looking at the shapes there, looking, I think, can you see I'm making a bit of an adjustment now on that picture. I just made Bunny's body a little bit longer. So it doesn't have to be completely accurate, but the important bits need to be there. And you can, if you've got more than one photo, you can do a bit of juggling. Right, I'm thinking it might be time for another shout out. What do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, Tilda. Hi, Tilda, lovely to see you. And hi, Tom as well, thank you. One of, one of those two is my offspring. Okay, so um, Leon, I'm gonna hand over to you to tell me who the next shout out is. Here we go. So the next shout out on the list is Wolf and Ellie. So, Thank you for putting these in the chat. And I just wanted to check if you want please tell me if the sound sounds okay now or if it needs a bit more improving. We really appreciate all that feedback. But other than that, it's been amazing. We do, yes, thank you, yeah. Oh, and I need to give you the microphone when you're on, don't I, I forgot that. Okay, Soggy Rabbit, here is Soggy Rabbit already. There we go. So we are doing the next shout out for Wilf and Ellie. Okay, Wilf, here we go. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining Wilf. Soggy Rabbit is very happy to be doing your shout out. Aren't you Soggy? Yes, you are. Right, oh, you want your friend. Okay, right. Soggy Rabbit wants his friend Bestie to help because Bestie's always happy to help. So. Bestie's going to give you moral support. Okay, lovely. Right, Wilf and Ellie, here we go. Wilf. Oh, we want to do a bit more of a bit of going round. Wilf, yep. Happy with that? Yes, and. That's called an ampersand, isn't it? Very nice. 
Okay, and you've left some nice space for your Ellie. Here we go. Oh, lovely curly E. Right, Soggy Rabbit just wants to check it's got an E on the end. Yes, very good. You can always pause your writing. There we go. Oh, we're going to go for a little walk, are we, with this one? Very nice. There. Okay, lovely. And another heart here for Ellie. There we are. Well done. Put that lid on. Always remember to keep your pens juicy with the lid, said Soggy. Right, Wilf and Ellie, are you ready to go into the dancing room? You are. Okay, here we go. Done, Foggy Rabbit. Oh, you're tired, are you, after all that? Okay, well, just give Wilf and Ellie a little wave and you can have a little sit down. Oh, kisses for Wilf and Ellie. There we go. Right, lovely. Oh, you're going to have a lie down. Okay, well earned rest. Okay, now let's have a look at the picture because it's obviously come on quite a lot, hasn't it? So you can see now I'm using the ink pen and I'm going over the pencil, but I haven't rubbed the pencil out because I have a secret weapon, um, which I'll show you in a second. So now that the difficult work of working out where everything goes is done, this it, the rest is pretty easy. You just have to be careful not to splodge your pen. So I always keep a piece of paper at the side at that just to make sure I don't have any splodges. So when I've dipped the pen in the ink, I just check it on this piece of paper and I'm going round the um, the outlines and I'm not doing like a uh, like a felt tip pen all the way around I'm just trying to show the texture and trying to think about where the lights going to be you know I always talk about the light and when an artist is uh, drawing anything one of the first things they think about is where the lights coming from so in this case I'm going to say for my picture that the lights coming from the right so coming from this side so you might notice especially when I do some shadows that they tend to be in the darker lines tend to be on the left hand side so I wonder if you guys have been drawing your toys we've had some absolutely lovely um, pictures sent to us and we put them all up on the website so whether you're drawing toys in the way that we're drawing them or whether you're doing them your way we really really welcome your drawings and we put them up on the website so you can see the gallery there it's growing it's got some fantastic work in it and then every week we try and show a couple of the ones that really caught our eye on the show and also we have an um, artist of the week so we've got an artist of the week this week who I'm very excited to announce and I think they're watching um, but they don't know who they are so there's an exciting thing so send us your pictures and that could be you um, right so I'm just mapping out the shapes um, in the pen and I'm not going exactly where the pencil is I'm still looking at the photograph still checking how the um, how everything sits and looking so I might look say at the size of the feet and compare it with the size of the head and you can do that when you're drawing people or animals anything with feet and heads or hands you can look at the big picture so if you look at that photo down there you can see that um, Teddy's head is pretty much the same size as Teddy's foot and um, if you look on my picture I've done it that way so I've used all those little tricks all those references where you can compare things are really handy when you're trying to draw realistically obviously if you want to draw patterns or you want to do something that's more creative and imaginary um, you don't need to um, worry about that sort of thing and you can exaggerate things but what I'm showing you today is how to do realistic drawing which is how which which involves 
really, really looking. And actually, the looking is probably the most important part. So if you're very good at looking at things, then you can practice just looking at the world around you, looking at trees, just looking and looking at lines. And there's my head, so look at the outlines of things. Imagine you did, so this is called an envelope. So for the shape, that there is the envelope. So when I was starting this picture, I started, you can see it's a triangle shape, the envelope for Teddy and Bunny. Gosh, time's flying today, guys, 20 past already. Okay, oh, lovely. Hi, Angela and Nick, it's lovely to see you, thank you. Yes, I think we've got your name down on the shout out list, but I have to say, I think, I think we might have all our shout outs. So I've, I hope you will forgive me if I don't put your shout out in this time and I hope you'll come back next week and get your shout out in early and we can fit it in. But we'll see if we can put them in. Um, oh, that's so nice. I'm really happy that you like the portraits. That's really great. Right, um, Leon, I think we're going to have to um, hand over to you and you can tell me who the next person is. I'm going to wave my microphone at Leon so that you can so the next shout out is for Kez and very sadly Kez cannot join us today she's normally a very nice friendly viewer but and very kindly requested a shout out for Kez so thank you so much and that's really thoughtful of you and yeah thanks so much and I hope Kez can be here next week that would be really great. Yeah, thank you, Kez. We miss you. You don't often miss it, do you? So, right, Soggy Rabbit is all here ready. And, Kez, you're with us in spirit. Right, here we go. Get your pen. Lovely. Take the lid off. Nice and juicy. Now, the good thing about Kez is it's a very short name, so leaves lots of room for twirling. Yeah, lovely. Okay, here we go yourself in the mood. Okay. Lovely. Right, here we go. What are you up to, Soggy? I know you've got a plan. Oh, you're going to do that trick. Lovely, wow. Well, I hope Kez likes that. Very nice. Oh, you want to do some hearts for Kez. Very nice. Okay, well, thank you, Ant, for requesting a shout out for Kez. Kez, we miss you and we'll see you next week, we hope. Right, now we know that Kez will watch this and in a clip and we'll want to have her dance. So, right, get your dancing shoes on. We're going to go in that dancing room. It's noisy in there. Are you ready? Soggy Rabbit. Lovely. Okay, so kisses for cares and we will see you next week. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's have a look how our picture's getting on. Now you can see I've been adding some texture on here. So all the dark shadowy texture is concentrated on the side where the shadow is and um, the light when I get on there with the highlights so I'm going to be using this pen this is an Uni Posca white highlighting pen and I'll be keeping the highlights on the light side so the shadows is the dark and the highlights on the light and that is what gives them a sense of form a sense of being round and hopefully it will give Teddy and Bunny's owners a sense that they could pick them up off the page not that they need to because they've got the real thing there. So, oh, I think we've got I think we've got a little bit of a debate going on apparently about who's the greatest. Hmm, I'll leave you to settle that one. I thought we were supposed to be talking about helping. I wonder if anyone's got any thoughts on helping. 
and what why we can be happy to help okay so we are we've got five more minutes until artist of the week so I'm going to squeeze in another shout out in the hope that we might be able to get an extra one. Oh, thank you. The sound is fine. That's really, that's really helpful. Okay. Now let's pass over to you. There you go. Now, if anyone wants Leon to wave, we'll give them a hello. Now's your chance. Yeah. If you comment that you want me to wave, then I will. And the next shout out is Jasmine. Jasmine's been amazing in the chat, so thank you, Jasmine. And yeah, there's been a massive argument about who's greater, Tom or Tilda. Well, I don't know what to say about that. I think we'd better quickly get on with this. Right then, and Jasmine, I don't know if you can see, but up here is a little heart. So that means you've scored Bestie as your shout out bunny. Now, Bestie is very excited. I know you watch regularly, Jasmine, so you'll know all about Be Bestie. And Bestie says that they hope that your throat is feeling better. So they want to give you a little stroke to say they hope your throat is feeling better. They know you've got a sore throat. You said that in the chat, didn't you? Right then, Bestie. OK, let's get the lid off. Lovely. OK, are you ready? You are. OK, now, Jasmine, Bestie looks very excited but is actually quite good at writing aren't you yeah okay here we go right ready yep very excited i can see oh bestie gosh that is quite fast are you sure you've got this under control you have okay very nice oh yes you're just showing off are you okay yeah you're all over this okay Very nice. Oh, you can be careful if you need to, can't you? That's lovely. Very nice, Bestie. Gosh, Soggy Rabbit's going to have a tough act to follow with you. There we go. And a big heart for Jasmine. OK, lovely. Thank you very much, Bestie. Now, oh, yes, you're super excited about going for a dance. Right, Jasmine? I hope that your throat doesn't affect your dancing. Here we go. done bestie that was very good oh you're super happy right now i think you really need to have a settle down and we'll say goodbye to jasmine well done bestie thank you so much soggy rabbit i think you're going to have to calm bestie down i know you're very good at that that's a very nice helping thing that you do okay so let's have a look and here we go it's action time with the putty rubber so all our regular viewers will know I'm an extremely big fan of the putty rubber. Ta-da! Look at that. So these rubbers are something else because you can, um, they're very cheap, you can buy them in art shops and um, they're a bit like blue tack and you can roll them, you can roll them into a point if you want to rub something very small out so if you've got a picture with lots of detail and you just want to go and sort out one little area or you can have them in a ball or you can actually do another trick with these which I won't show you but I'll tell you about hold on I'll do it so that you can see right with these what you can do is you can roll them into a sausage shape and then you can roll that on your picture so if you just want to make your pencil fainter, but you still want to see it, you can use a putty rubber that way and roll it like you're rolling some pastry and that will make the pencil go faint. Top tip. Right, so now that the um, uh, graphite, which is what the um, 
normal pencil put down on the paper is all gone, I can have a look at the colours of um, Teddy and Bunny. And you can see, we talked a couple of weeks ago about mistakes and happy accidents. So you can see, actually, I was a bit hasty with my rubbing out and smudged the ink a tiny bit, but it doesn't matter because it's all going to get covered up. So, um, and luckily, that smudge happens to be where there would be a shadow. So there was a stroke of luck. Now, first of all, what I'm doing here is I'm doing the writing on Bunny's foot. So the writing on Bunny's foot says, um, my first bunny. So one of the things I liked about this photo was that you could see the writing. So I'm sure for Bunny's owner, my first bunny is a very important bit of Bunny that gets very well loved. So I wanted to get that in and I wanted to get it right. So what I'm doing is I'm doing it with quite a sharp pencil, quite hard, and I'm pressing quite hard. And what that will do is it will almost, it's called embossing. So it will press into the paper. So now when I go over with the, um, this is called blocking in. So I'm putting in the general color of the rabbit like that, just lightly, not worrying about overlines, not worrying about um, getting it smooth. But when I do that over the writing on Bunny's foot, because the writing is pressed in, I hope this is making sense, because the writing is pressed in, it will still be very obvious. It'll be like I'm doing a rubbing, if you've ever done a rubbing, um, like a brass rubbing or something. So that writing will, will stay visible even if I do a few layers over the top. And at the end, you'll see, we'll use the highlighter to really bring that writing out and show how the light hits it. Okay, so I think we're coming up to the exciting time in the show when, or we definitely are, when we do Artist of the Week. So Leon, can you get yourself ready? Leon's so busy in the chat, aren't you? Are you ready? Okay, look, I'll show you. Look, he's busy typing. You can just see his neck. Can you look up and smile? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right. Are you ready, Leon? Yes. Okay, right. Here's the microphone. You're going to need to hold that. Right. So this is where we do the artist of the week. And these just over here, they are some of the pictures that we saw and they are amazing, they really caught our eye and someone wanted me to wave to them, so hello. Um, Who's that for, can you remember? I can't remember, okay. sorry. Right. Um, I think you had one of the, the default names. Okay. But you can, if you want your own custom name, then you can just put, you can change it in the settings. And now it's time for the artist of the week. Okay. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. And the winner is Helen. Well done, Helen. Well done, Helen. So this amazing picture is of Joseph's Butch. So you may remember last week's model was Joseph's Butch and Helen did this fantastic picture. And I really love it because we can see that um, Helen has paid a lot of attention to all the tips that we were talking about last week. So well done, Helen, and thank you to everyone who's been sending in your pictures. Please look on the website. We've got them up there and um, there's the website address and there's a link there to the gallery, our gallery of friends. So please keep sending us your pictures. We absolutely love it and we really love that you're inspired to do some drawing. And um, so keep them coming. And if you sent them before, send us more. We don't mind. We can take multiple pictures. Right then, let's just have a quick look at the drawing. And you can see the blocking in is coming along um, gradually. Well, actually, it comes on quite quickly. So I've done a layer of cream because that's the main colour that you see. But Teddy and Bunny have had a lot of loving in their life, in their short lives. And um, as a result, Believe it or not, they used to both be quite pink and they're now a glorious um, creamy beige. I suspect they might have seen a washing machine once or twice um, and I suspect they are actually very clean. 
um, like those favourite clothes we have that are very clean but sometimes they're not as pristine as when you buy them in the shop and much more, much nicer for it. So um, I've got the um, pen, you can see I'm checking it on my paper for blobs. So this is, it's got a ball inside, so it's got liquid and a ball. It's a brilliant highlighter. It's an Uni Posca pen. And now what I'm trying to do is put on the texture so that um, we can show the fur. So I do put it all over, but mostly it goes on the side where the light is coming. And this is when you really start to see the 3D shape coming through. So you can practice on anything. Do you know what? You could just do a fluffy ball. Imagine you had a tennis ball that was furry and you could practice drawing that and put all the light on one side and all the dark on the other side and get that texture. And um, they look very white at the moment, don't they? So if you look at the toys, there's nothing quite as bright white as that highlighter, but that's okay because I'm gonna go over it in a minute with another layer of pencil. So what do you think guys? And Leon, have we had any, anyone got any thinking about helping? I'm very keen to know if I'm the only one. He's got a bit of a thing about helping cheerfully. <laughs> Little personal mission. There, that's so, you know, in that bit there, you can see Teddy's foot is just really standing forward against the shadow next to Bunny. And, and that's because of the contrast. I've got that light, the lightest white against the darkest black and it allows that foot to really come forward they're great models these i love their sagginess they really look squiddy and soft and lovely so and at the end of the show i'm just going to finish it off live so you can watch me color in the hearts because apparently teddy's favorite color is yellow and bunny's favorite color is pink so we'll be doing hearts to match and that's why Leon's got a yellow shirt on today, believe it or not, was for Teddy's favourite colour. Right then, Leon, I think we might need to do another shout out. What do you think? I agree. OK, so who's next for the shout out? Taz is next for this shout out. OK, lovely. Right. And on the subject of helping and happiness and very highly recommended honey and lemon to Jasmine to thank you aunt it was amazing that's a really really lovely thing to do thank you aunt not just a pretty face really nice thank you so let's see oh yes soggy rabbit is all ready for Taz's shout out and you can watch the drawing at the same time so if you want to watch the drawing you can see it carrying on yep you like watching the drawing and doing this at the same time don't you soggy rabbit's very good at multitasking luckily okay so taz here is your shout out now there's another lovely short name so we can get lots of twirls in there for taz okay you ready soggy you are lovely that's a good start very good and it's T-A-S, is that right, Leon? Not T-A-Z. T-A-S. T-A-S, okay. Okay, I think we need a bit of decor, don't we? Yes, all right, lovely. Let's go in here. Let's do... Oh, wow. Very nice. That is like the patterns that a snake might make on the sand. Beautiful. You're going to go all the way around if you can. Can you manage that? Oh, I see. You're so clever. Right. Are we going to do a bit more up here? Come on then. Very nice. Right. OK. So, Taz, there you go. Let's put the lid on. Get our dancing shoes on. Or bare feet, if you like dancing in bare feet. Especially on the grass. You like doing that, don't you? So you right. Come on then. Let's go and do a dance with Taz.
well done Foggy, lovely. Right Taz, I hope you enjoyed that. You want to give Taz kisses, very nice, and wave goodbye, lovely. Thank you Soggy Rabbit. And thank you Ant for your helpful suggestion, that was a really nice thing and um, such a lovely idea. Yes, honey, honey and lemon um, is always good for sore throats, isn't it? Right, and Jasmine, I hope you feel better soon. Okay, so let's have a look at the picture and see how it's getting on. So those highlights are nearly finished. They're, um, they're just, I'm just working around the shapes and um, what's coming next. So I recorded this yesterday. And, oh yes, so Teddy's nose. I'm just giving it a little bit more definition because it's still got quite a bit of pink. I think Teddy's nose might be made of different material and so it's kept its pink colour a little bit better. So when we do the hearts, I'm also going to make um, Bunny's eyes a bit greener with my green pencil at the end. So Teddy and Bunny looking very, very happy there. And um, now Teddy has uh, a, a, quite a beige tummy. So I'm going in with a beige pencil, trying to kind of do a bit of shadow, a little bit of character, but I don't want to make them look grubby because they're not grubby. So I'm really focusing this pencil on the shadow areas. And if you look, if you squint at the picture, I'll show you the reference photo there. If you look at that and squint, you can see some of those shadow areas are really quite dark. And it's very good when you squint. If you're not quite sure how dark things are, if you have a squint, it, uh, it takes out a lot of the detail in the picture and it makes it much easier to see without um, being too blinded by all the colours. So I'm just going in with that nice soft coloured pencil. How's everyone doing? I'm going to hand over to Leon for a second. Let's see how's it going in the chat. Very good. The chat has been amazing. Everyone has been commenting some really nice thoughtful stuff and everyone's been so kind and polite to everyone and a special thanks to Jasmine he's been very engaging in the chat. It's been very nice having you. And you have always been helping. And I hope you get better soon. Lovely. Oh, wrong, one, wrong room, wrong room. <laughs> right, thank you, Leon. Sorry about that. It's a, a little bit of a live jiggery pokery. I think we're ready for another shout out. So next shout out is for Tom. So let's see, is Soggy ready? Yep, Soggy's all ready for Tom. Let's get going. Right, Tom, I hope you're watching. It's lovely to have you with us. Are you going to wave to Tom? Oh, you want to give Tom a kiss? Ah, okay. Soggy Rabbit would like people to know that Soggy Rabbit does actually belong to Tom. Yes, okay. So you want to say hello to your Tom. Okay, come on then. So Tom is not a million miles away from here and is watching for the first time. Yes, okay, so you're going to do a really special one, are you, for Tom? Okay, for your Tom. Here we go. T O M. Lovely. Oh, right, Soggy. Okay, Soggy, I think we need to get on with the dancing. You're not going to stop. Okay, to Soggy Rabbit wants to cover the whole page in hearts for Tom. There we go. I think you've made your point. I think Tom knows you love him. And let's put the lid on and take Tom and everybody else for a dance. Come on then, let's go. Well done, Soggy Rabbit. Okay, thank you. You're going to kisses for Tom. Lovely. And oh, and you want to wave to Tilda. Okay, 
There we go. Hello, Tilda. It's lovely to have you with us. Right then, let's have a look at the drawing again. So this is really coming on now. You can see this is nearly finished. So I've gone in with my white pencil. Now my white pencil is quite short. So I'm using this pencil holder. They're really great if you want to get a bit more life out of a pencil that's got quite short. You can buy these in art shops. In fact, this is a very special one. This came from a museum, Museo del Prado in Spain. So my friend got me this, but you can get, I've got other ones. There's loads like this, but this one's very special. So here's my special red one. Thank you, Alice. And um, they're great for extending the life of a pencil because it's always nice to get, um, get every last bit out of it rather than throwing it away and getting a new one, especially if you've got a favourite pencil that you really like that makes lovely marks. So now I'm going in with the yellow. Now at this point, I thought that Bunny's eyes were quite yellowy, but I've heard from um, Bunny's granny that um, they are actually green. So I'm gonna go in with the green in a minute. Okay, right, I think we need to squeeze in another shout out because we've got to get through them. I'm hoping to get through as many as possible. So let's, um, I'll just give this to Leon for a second. There you go. Thank you. So the next shout out is for Rosa and Molly. And I believe Donna requested this shout out. So thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna, that's fantastic. Right, let's see if Soggy's ready. You are. Okay, right, Soggy. A shout out for Rosa and Molly. Lovely, okay. You've got your lid on, so your pen's nice and juicy. Let's take, take the lid off now and put it there so it's safe. Fantastic. Right, Rosa and Molly. Now, because it's two words, let's start with the ampersand in the middle. And then we can keep an eye, make sure it's fair on the page. Right, here we go. Very nice, Rosa. Want to do a little swirl, okay, very nice. Lovely, Rosa and Molly. Come on then, let's get that M. Now Molly's got a Y on the end, which is a very good letter. That is Soggy Rabbit's favourite letter. Soggy Rabbit, you're at a very funny angle there. That's quite tricky. Oh, lovely, yes, I can see why you like those M's. Rosa and Molly, and you want to do a heart, Rosa and Molly. Lovely, okay, fantastic. Right, thank you, Donna. And Rosa and Molly, I hope you're enjoying your shout out. And I bet that you like a dance. And so Soggy Rabbit is going to get his dancing feet on and take you to the dancing room. Here we go. Soggy Rabbit. Right, you're going to blow kisses to Rosa, kisses to Molly, and bye bye. And we will hope that you enjoy your shout out and that you have a go at writing your names like that because it's such fun. It's so nice to write and to try doing curly lines and just letting it be a pattern. It's a really nice way to um, just relax writing your name or writing other people's names. So you can see. So I'm just putting the highlights on the stitching. So Bunny's name, but Bunny's writing on the foot is written in stitching. So I put highlights on and um, we'll see when I go, I'm going to do the uh, final touches on the camera. So you'll be able to see that when that happens. Okay, right now, I think it's a bit of a conveyor belt today. So I'm gonna try and get one more shout out in. 
can I give you that? Thank you. So this next shout out isn't a name, but it's I love here a hundred percent, and I think that's really nice because it's to do with this theme. Yes, because we very often, when you're helping someone, it's a sign of the fact that you really care about them. So helping someone cheerfully and with love is a really nice thing to do, and Soggy Rabbit is always very happy to help. Okay. Oh, you would like Bestie with you for this one, would you? Okay. Right then. I love you. A hundred percent. So remember, guys, this is a very clever shout out request because you can put messages in as well. It doesn't have to be names. So Soggy is happy to write pretty much anything. Right. I love you. A hundred percent. Here we go. All right. Love. Yep, wonderful. You've got your Y in there. Very good. I love you. Now, this is your first numbers, isn't it, in the show? 100%. Brilliant. And you think that would be pretty good to have some hearts in that one, wouldn't it? Lovely. Well done, Soggy Rabbit. Okay, now let's get that lid on. Very good. Are we going to go into the dancing room? Yes, we are. Right, I hope that you've got your dancing shoes on. Guys, this is the last shout out. So if you've been sitting on the sofa, get up, says Soggy Rabbit. Get up and let's dance. done soggy rabbit what a lovely way to end the shout out i love you we all love you soggy rabbit brilliant right so this is kisses for everybody thank you for watching soggy's shout outs and goodbye and he's going to have a nice rest there now i'm going to so the picture is just about finished i will just show you where it's got to there we go. So I'm doing a last little bit of shading in this video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over to Leon for a second and get the picture in front of me. And then you will see the picture will come up and you'll be able to watch me put those hearts on and sign it. OK, right. So I'm going to give you to Leon. Here he is. Thank you. So quickly, I just want to say goodbye, Jasmine. Thank you so much for commenting in the chat and I can't wait to see you next week. And also, all the feedback has been super positive, which has been amazing. And everyone's just been so kind to everyone. It's been amazing, like seeing everyone's comments. And all the I love you, I love you 100%, it's all been very nice. And again, remember, you can submit your picture to maybe be the artist of the week in the link and once again congratulations to Helen well done yes good point Leon congratulations Helen I've got my camera here right I'm gonna sw switch over so that you can see my desk one second I'll just get my microphone in there right now hopefully this will work um, let's see we get in the right place um here we go there da -da. do you notice anything i might just turn that round hold on one second by the magic powers of um my streaming software i can 
make this the right way around. One second. Hold on, please, caller. Your call is important to us. Ta-da! Right, lovely. So let's get that down close so you can see. Now I've put this in a frame and it doesn't have glass on it. So it might look a bit of a strange thing to do, but it means that I can really see how the picture sits. I'm going to just focus that in for you. There we go. Okay, can you see? Lovely. Now, two things, three things to do. So first I'm going to use this lovely green pen. It's nice and sharp, but because I'm doing some fine work, I'm just going to give it a little sand on the side like that to make sure that tip is really sharp and I'm going to green up Bunny's eyes because apparently Bunny has green eyes. There we go, lovely. And I'm going to give um, Teddy, apparently Teddy has a slightly beige tummy. I did wonder from those reference photos. Sometimes it's difficult to tell but have a look at this. Can you see, I think, especially on the left hand photo, Teddy does have a slightly beige, less pinky tummy. Maybe extra love in the tummy department. Okay, there we go. Now, Teddy's favourite colour is yellow. So Teddy gets a yellow heart. Oh, I think that pencil needs a little bit of sanding. Okay. Very nice. and a pink heart for Bunny. Lovely. And the last thing, remember what do we do when we do pictures? It's so important to sign your work. Um, I'm not going to do it in a, in a signature that dominates it and takes over, so it's just subtle, but it tells anyone who looks at it that this is an original piece of art and, and so I'm going to do it there. But before I touch the paper with the pencil, I'm just going to check that my pencil's working fine. Now, actually, that pencil is so hard, it's not coming out very well. So I'm going to use my softer pencil. There we are. And I think I will pop the signature. So usually you put it either there or there. And I'm just going to look and see where I think it would look balance wise. And I think it would probably look better here. So I'm just going to pop it in there, just very small. And lots of people put the date on. I don't tend to, but sometimes I put it on the back. But um, it's personal choice because if you're the artist, you get to choose. OK, guys, so we are just about at the end of the show. And I'm going to say a huge thank you to you all. It's so lovely to see you. We love seeing your pictures. We love that this is inspiring you. And we love that you get in the chat. So thanks to everyone. I'm sorry we didn't get all the shout outs done. Please come back next week and put them in early in the show. And uh, we always manage to get through six. So um, next week, we will be having a new model of the week. The model will be William's Glowy. So hello, William, if you're watching, we're really looking forward to drawing your Glowy. And after me, now you'll see a picture of Glowy. So if you want to take a screenshot and do a picture of Glowy, you could do that. Um, please send us your pictures. You can, uh, you can find the link um, there on the website. And um, this is um, on YouTube, obviously. So if you want to subscribe to our channel, you'll see when we post new videos and um, share this video. And this is where you'll find the shout out. So if you want to go back and see your shout outs, all of the videos from the previous shows are saved on our YouTube channel. Okay, Leon, do you want to come and say goodbye? Yeah. Well done, Leon. Thank you everyone so, so much for all the comments. Yeah, it was really nice to see you. We're really looking forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week. And remember, don't just be helpful, be happy to be helpful. It's so nice and it's worth so much more. Okay, bye-bye everyone. Love you all.